Margate, the fell omen fight strategy. The best tips for Margate, the fell omen. Purchase Margate's shackle from patches to bind him to the ground, temporarily stunning him. This allows you to get a few free hits. This will not work once he reaches phase two. Using the Lone Wolf Ashes can help distract Margit long enough to get some easy damage in with spells or melee attacks. The Spirit Jellyfish can act as a great tanky distraction and is available if you speak to Rodrika in Stormhill. Another good multi-summon ashes are the Godric Soldiers, found in the graveyard surrounded by Spirit Jellyfish in Stormhill. Glintstone Stars works well in this fight, if you can get enough distance to use them. Glintstone Pebble can work fine as well, as it is cheap and reliable. Wait for him to do his leaping plunge attack with his hammer and roll through it towards him to get in some easy damage. This is your best opening during this fight. Ash of War. Barricade Shield can make this fight much easier for melee players, because it allows them to block and attack more easily though his spectral blades do not deal physical damage, so you still take chip damage. Great boss to learn how to parry. Do note that it takes two parries to put him in a state where he can be reposted. The majority of his staff attacks are parryable, but his magic weapon attacks are not. This simplifies the fight a lot, as most of his attack sequences open with the staff. Magic and Ranged Strategy the strategy for magic and ranged users is somewhat easier. Though shortbow users may have a harder time due to lower damage and lack of a shield. Margate can either be extremely aggressive or not, and there seems to be no in-between. If you can keep separation from him until he goes into a not-aggressive phase, then you can attack him at range fairly easily for a short time. Getting some free damage. Just make sure to watch out for his blade toss attack, so you don't get hit. You could try using Glintstone Pebble or Glintstone Stars, as these are incredibly effective and efficient. Their cast times are in the mid-range, so be warned that you'll have to have proper spacing to use them. Additionally, it's not a bad idea to use a shield in your offhand to block in case of emergencies or after you cast, in case you cut it too close. You can use the Lone Wolf Ashes to create a distraction that can allow you to range him down in less than a minute if you play it right. Wait for the wolves to gain his attention. Then unleash spell after spell, making sure to pause when you gain aggro. This gives the wolves time to acquire it once again before continuing your barrage. 